I'm delighted to have you as part of this community. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you join us as we uncover the secrets of Andrew G. Viner. Andrew G. Viner born Andrew G. G. Viner, 1 August 1944 20 January 2019 was a Hungarian-American film producer whose films include the first three entries in the Rambo series, Total Recall, Tombstone, Die Hard with a Vengeance, Evita, and Terminator 3. He founded the now-defunct production companies Croco Pictures, Synergy Pictures, and K Pictures, frequently in collaboration with Mario Casa. Now, let's shift our attention to early life and first business successes. Andrew G. Viner was born in Budapest to J.G. G. Viner, a merchant of Jewish descent born Weidman, and his wife, Clara. In 1956, at the age of 12, he fled from Hungary and with the support of Red Cross he made his way alone to Canada. He arrived having no friends and speaking no English. Later on he reunited with his parents in Los Angeles, USA, who fled Hungary separately. He studied cinematography at University of California, Los Angeles and then joined the university's educational motion picture department where he worked on different projects. Preferring independence, Viner left UCLA to set up his own photo studio, but that venture soon came to end when he broke his leg in a ski accident and business could not operate for nine months. After his recovery he became a hairdresser and teamed up with a boyhood friend, Bacolte, a wig stylist in Hollywood, to produce high-quality wigs. Viner moved to Hong Kong where he established his own wig manufacturing company, called Gilda Fashion. Finally, Viner sold the firm in 1973. By that time, the company employed more than 3,000 people. With the foundation laid, let's embark on a journey into entering the film industry, the Coralco Times. Viner launched his career in the entertainment industry with his purchase of motion picture theaters in the Far East. He founded Panacea Films Limited in Hong Kong, a highly profitable venture in the distribution acquisition and representation of films. After Viner negotiated the sales of Panacea to Raymond Chow's Golden Harvest Company in 1976 and met Mario Casa at the 1975 Cannes Film Festival, he and the film producer and industry executive formed Croco, specializing in sales, financing and distribution of films worldwide. Viner and Casa had rented a small office in Melrose Avenue where their desks faced each other in the office and Vojna's wife and Casa's girlfriend were their secretaries. In less than four years, Karolko became one of the top three foreign sales organizations in motion pictures industry. In 1982, Viner was a founder and then president of the American Film Marketing Association. During that same year, Viner and Casa made their film production debut with Rambo, First Blood, starring Sylvester Stallone. First Blood was a success, grossing $120 million internationally. Rambo, First Blood Part II was released in 1985, generating more than $300 million worldwide. Viner was executive producer with Mario Casa on such films such as Alan Parker's Angel Heart and Rambo 3. Other projects include Music Box, Mountains of the Moon, Total Recall, Air America, Narrow Margin and Jacob's Ladder. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding Synergy Productions, Inc. and gain a fresh perspective. In December 1989, Viner sold all his interest in Croco for $106 million and formed Synergy Productions, Inc. to engage in the financing, development, production and distribution of major event motion pictures. As part of its business plan, Synergy formed an alliance with the Walt Disney Company for distribution of Synergy motion pictures in the United States, Canada and Latin America. Vojna's strategy was to develop long-term relationships with certain talent and produce a steady supply of two to four event motion pictures per year. John McTiernan directed Synergy's first production, Medicine Man. Christmas 1993 saw the release of Tombstone, the white epic holiday legend. In 1994, Synergy released Renaissance Man and Color of Night. The summer of 1995 saw the release of two Synergy productions. 
The first was Die Hard with a Vengeance. To date, the film has grossed over $365 million worldwide. The second release was Judge Dredd. Also in 1995, Synergy released two more films, The Scarlet Letter and Nixon. Nixon received four Academy Award nominations. Another Synergy release was Alan Parker's adaptation of Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice's rock opera Evita starring Madonna and Antonio Banderas in 1996. Nominated for five Academy Awards, the film was also a commercial success, grossing $141 million worldwide and winning Golden Globes for Best Picture, Best Actress and Best Original Song. Moving ahead, let's uncover the hidden gems within Back to His Roots, entering the Hungarian film industry and discover their significance. Viner never forgot his Hungarian roots and always tried to help the Hungarian film industry. He had a major role in many films being shot in Budapest, such as Evita, Escape to Victory and Red Heat. He also participated in the distribution of motion pictures in Hungary, eventually having a 70% share of the Hungarian box office. In 1989, Viner founded Intercom that has become a market leader and a distributor of many Hollywood studios, including 20th Century Fox, Warner Bros. Sony Pictures, Disney and MGM. He was a producer of the record-breaking Hungarian comedy Out of Order Ed in 1997. With 750,000 viewers in cinemas and several million on television, it broke Hungarian box office records. In 1998, Biner took Synergy private by buying out the public stockholders. Thereafter, he joined with his former partner, Mauro Casa and started Hick Pictures. Their first return venture into big-budget Hollywood was I Spy 2002, starring Eddie Murphy and Owen Wilson, which was shot in Budapest. In 2002 he founded DIGIC Pictures in Hungary which is an animation studio specializing in fold animation and visual effects. In 2003, he and Casa produced Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines with Arnold Schwarzenegger. In 2005, Viner was, together with Quentin Tarantino and Lucy Liu, the executive producer of a feature-length documentary called Freedom's Fury, created by Colin Keith Gray and Megan Rainey Ahrens, which showed his renewed interest in the story of the 1956 Hungarian Revolution. The film called The Children of Glory, which showed the Hungarian Revolution of 1956, was Hungary's most successful movie in 2006 having been viewed by more than half a million people. In this section, we'll be exploring reformer of the Hungarian film funding system. From 2011 Viner worked as the government commissioner in charge of the Hungarian film industry. In the same year Viner conceived Hungarian National Film Fund with the mission to contribute to the production of Hungarian films or co-productions that provide art and entertainment for moviegoers and bring significant success both domestically and on an international level. Under Vojna's supervision, the money spent on film production in Hungary had doubled between 2011 and 2014. The Film Fund provides transparent financial and professional support as well as creative cooperation, marketing support, professional expertise and international industry contacts, handling festivals, sales activity and apprentice program. One of the recent films that received financial support from Hungarian National Film Fund was the hard-hitting drama Son of Saul, which premiered at the 2015 Cannes Film Festival where it won the Grand Prix. It also won the Golden Globe for Best Foreign Language Film, becoming the first Hungarian film to win the award. As its biggest achievement, Son of Saul was the 2016 Academy Award winner in the Foreign Language category. During the Viner era Hungarian movies financed by the Hungarian National Film Fund won altogether more than 130 international awards while the number of foreign films produced in Hungary increased significantly. Let's transition to media holdings and links with Viktor Orban's government and uncover its significance. Following his return to his native country, Viner played an important role in Viktor Orban's government's influence on the media. In 2015 he bought the Hungarian Group, the country's second biggest commercial channel. 
the state-owned lender at Zimbank, which usually supports export companies, helped Vojnan's acquisition. In 2015, it won nearly a fifth of state advertising spending, four times more than its nearest rival, according to the independent Hungarian watchdog Merck Media Monitor. Under Vojna's ownership, the channel's editorial stance was strongly in favour of the government. From 2016 until his death he also owned the Rudy One radio station. In 2017 he bought Lapkums, which includes the tabloid Bors and the regional dailies Dolmajurisk and Kisselfold. In the next segment, we'll be exploring death and its implications for our subject matter. Viner died of a heart attack at his home in Budapest on 20 January 2019 at age 74. As we enter this new phase, let's analyze filmography from different angles and evaluate its significance. Year title notes 1973 Deadly China Doll Producer 1980 The Changeling Executive Producer 1981 Escape to Victory Executive Producer The Amateur Executive Producer 1982 First Blood Executive Producer Superstition Executive Producer 1985 Rambo First Blood Part I I Executive Producer 1987 Angel Heart Executive Producer Extreme Prejudice Executive Producer 1988 Rambo I I I executive producer Red Heat Executive Producer 1989 Deep to 6 Executive Producer Johnny Handsome Executive Producer Music Box Executive Producer 1990 Mountains of the Moon Executive Producer Total Recall Executive Producer Air America Executive Producer Nero Margin Executive Producer Jacob's Ladder Executive Producer 1992 Medicine Man Producer 1993 Tombstone Executive Producer 1994 Renaissance Man Producer Color of Night Executive Producer 1995 Die Hard with a Vengeance Executive Producer Judge Dredd Executive Producer The Scarlet Letter Producer Nixon Producer 1996 Amanda Producer Ibita Producer 1997 Shadow Conspiracy Executive Producer Aminisha Firolok Producer 1998 and Alan Smithy Film Ben Hollywood Ben Executive Producer 1999 The 13th Warrior Executive Producer 2000 A Whole Cost Shimmy Executive Producer 2001 and American Rhapsody Executive Producer 2002 I Spy Producer 2003 Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines Producer 2006 Children of Glory Producer Freedom's Fury Executive Producer Basic Instinct 2 Producer Terminator The Sarah Connor Chronicles Executive Producer 2009 Terminator Salvation Executive Producer don't forget to check out my other videos for more valuable content.